I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will discuss algebraic proof of conditional statement. Question before us is prove that if minus 2 times x minus 3 is equal to 28 then x is equal to minus 11. The whole objective here is to develop a series of algebraic statements that is an algorithm and justify each statement which we can do with the help of properties of equality and then we will prove that if minus 2 times x minus 3 is equal to 28 then x is equal to minus 11 now this particular question is kind of conditional statement that if a part of is true then the solution is that so it is a conditional statement so I hope you understand what is algebraic proof and what is conditional statement and our strategy how to prove it correct so let's begin with what is given to us it is given to us that minus 2 times x minus 3 is equal to 28 as I said will follow system a set of series or series of statements which will prove that the solution is this and for every statement we have to give a reason now this is my very first statement and this statement is given to us so the reason is given normally whenever you're trying to prove you should start like what is given to you and then move forward now what we can do is we can apply the distributive property that is we'll multiply the terms inside the bracket by minus 2 so we get minus 2 times x minus minus 2 times 3 equals to 28 and this is distributive property right so the reason is distributive property and we can simplify it we can now write this as minus 2x minus minus becomes plus so it is plus 6 equals to 28 now can you tell me which property have I used at this stage we call it substitution property I hope that is a good review for you for about all the algebraic properties you have learned so far now what should be the next step we need to find the value of x rather prove that this x is minus 11 next step should be we should try to remove plus 6 that we can do by subtracting 6 from both the sides now can you tell me which property did I use at this stage it is kind of important to justify each statement and that is what algebraic proof is all about okay so here we subtracted a constant from both the sides correct so the property is subtraction property so I'm not writing substitution property right so subtraction property of equality so if a equals to b then a minus c is equals to b minus c right now that results into minus 20 2x equals to 28 minus 6 is 22 and this is substitution property substitution property of equality right now to get the value of x we can divide both sides by minus 2 so we can write this as minus 2x over minus 2 that is divided by 22 divided by minus 2 and this is division property and that results into x is equals to minus 11 substitution property all these are properties of equality right so you could write distribution property then substitution property of equality right 
Now that is how we prove that if minus 2 times x minus 3 is equal to 28 then x equals to minus 11 right so that is the proof so then we can write hence proved so remember whenever you're providing an algebraic proof provide series of statements which we call algorithm and with each statement you should justify with the help of some reason and most of the time those reasons are the properties or the rules which you've learned i hope that helps you to understand and appreciate the topic thank you and all the best